also a full part. So airborne, as I said, about 1,100 feet. Already doing 230 miles an hour, I can go straight into a loop. This is not quite our mission training sim, but it's quite realistic. Upside down. There's the runway that I took off from. And you can see by doing that loop, I actually climbed a thousand feet during the looping maneuver. So that's an indication of the power of the aircraft. Now, if I want to do some targeting, then I have very uh, good weapons information in the aircraft. And you'll see the radar and other sensors have picked up enemy aircraft in front of me. So these are enemy fighters. The aircraft has identified them as hostile. There are six enemy fighters out there. And I can target those aircraft with the Typhoon weapon system. So on the aircraft, I have a range of air-to-air -air missiles. I've selected the Meteor missile. And you can see that even at long range, I can fire many missiles all at once. I've targeted these two aircraft. The weapon system switches to the next two. And I get all of the information in cockpit that tells me what's happening with the aircraft that I've targeted. So both head out on the head-up display and on down here, I get a lot of information about enemy type, what they are, and uh, uh, what sort of the information that they need to engage. The lower two aircraft I haven't engaged yet, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a bit closer, you'll see some more pretty images effectively. So the first two have uh, exploded, you see them falling out of the sky. And the two high aircraft also have impacted now, and you see smoke trails as they fall out of the sky. I'm just going to maneuver behind the other two aircraft. Okay, so now I've pulled in behind the last two enemy aircraft. I've got a heat-seeking missile. And you can see, underneath the aiming reticle, there's the enemy fighter. And we're able to target that. And immediately, maneuver aggressively after the second one. and shoot the second aircraft down as well. And it's not just air-to-air, -air, the aircraft's very flexible and you can do uh, have a range of air-to-surface weapons as well. So you can do both air-to-air -air and air-to-surface fighting. Uh, but let me just, uh, in the simulator, I, I don't put the helmet on the display, but I can simulate it with the headset. So let me just set that up. Okay, so now when I look out, you see this is the information that would be displayed on my uh, helmet visor. And as I look through the head-up display, that disappears because it would be confusing. But all around me, I can now use the helmet display to interact with the weapon system. So as I look out with the helmet, my target is under the triangle over here. So you can see even though it's not in the head-up display, the helmet tells me where to look, and that really aids my, uh, my ability to see what's happening. In the cockpit, where, I, where the target is, the laser designation pod gives me a detailed view.
and I can change the display and maneuver the pod target around. So here on the pod I'm actually looking at a, uh, an enemy truck uh, and I've got the pod and it's locked to that truck which is a little bit far away so you can't see that at the moment. Now I've got a uh, pickle indication that's telling me I can fire. I just come around the corner. And looking out the window, the truck you can see is just off to the right. And the pod continuously tracks it. I just do a rear tack, come around to the right. So the brimstone missile has gone away. It tells me that in four seconds the missile will impact on the target. And there you see the missile hitting the truck and taking that out. If I'm doing close air support, I can use this pointing reticle to designate any position. So I can designate here, the pod sluice to that position. And I can make that a target. and I'm immediately in a position to release either a precision-guided bomb or another brimstone missile. 